of Spray Solutions and this is the final version of the Andac Cocoon 111 video. Uh, I'm going to edit out portions of me from the prior releases and focus more on the important points uh, of Andac Cocoon 111. We start out by spraying a cardboard box and a kid's bicycle where you can see the webbing of the material. Then we moved on to a burn test where we applied a, an open flame to both the bicycle and the cardboard box. We then stripped both of those surfaces. Um, the next testing was done on my dear friend and special assistant, Erica's car, and I thank her for allowing me to do that. Um, and then today, we removed the covering of the 111 from her car in large sheets, leaving a residue-free surface. Um, it's everything that I'd hoped the product would be. The product has been around for 75 years, and the US military has used this product. Uh, it is my blessing to be able to try and market this product to the rest of the marketplace. Anyone that is considering using shrink wrap, or if you are using shrink wrap, please pay attention. Number one most important part is that this is a non-flammable product. Um, there are many tragedies of boatyard fires and more recently the horrible tragedy in China at the Toyota factory where a bunch of cars that were parked next door were shrink wrapped and caught on fire. So not to um, be overly dramatic, but this product is really everything that I promise it is. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Thank you. A mixture of webbing agent, probably a 30% ratio webbing agent to 111. Uh, the objective is to show all of you using shrink wrap in any way, shape, or form, whether it be in the marine industry, freight forwarding, heavy equipment movement around the world. You should not be using shrink wrap. And the reason for that being is that after we spray this product right here on the ground. I'm going to spray a bicycle so you can see the webbing. And then we're going to spray a box for all people that are free for it. And in 48 hours, we're going to come back and we're going to set a torch to this. This will not burn. How do we get that out? Huh? Just leave it. It's okay. I think we're good there. Okay, so in a matter of about uh, 90 seconds, we've coated this box. Go ahead, Erica. So, I mean, there's a little bit of overspray because it's a small object, but we're putting on about a coating of eight wet mills. And for shrink wrapping uh, parcels, that's all you need. When we move over to the bike, actually, Erica, stop. The overspray from the spraying the box, you can see the webbing effect of the webbing agent on the spokes. Okay, we're moving on to the bike now. Let's uh, do the do the front wheel. Back off a little bit. There you go. Now, if you're getting close, you can see the webbing effect. That's how the product bridges gaps. So if you're you have boxes next to one another on a pallet. You know, it will seal, it'll bridge those gaps. That's what the first coat of webbing looks like. Now when this dries and we've bridged all the gaps, we can freely apply it and there won't be any issues. I hope this is making sense to everybody. This is uh, overspray. I just want to see how easily it peels away. 
that is what's called a fugitive plasticide. So when you're spraying it on the hood of a car or on a, a tank, or as they did at the end of World War II, they sprayed it on the heavy military equipment, it just peels right off. And the uh, fugitive plastified is what gives it that characteristic. Okay, so now we're 48 hours later and we're going to put a flame to the Anjak Cocoon 111. What's most important about that is 48 hours after the application, the solvent-based product flashes off or evaporates. And at that point, it becomes non-flammable and non-contributory, meaning that it may accept the flame, but the flame does not spread. This is so critically important to all of you that are shrink-wrapping boats, shrink-wrapping cars, moving freight around the world, moving precious objects from place to place in cardboard boxes. All these things make this product so unbelievably useful. Okay, we're going to apply the flame right now. And you can see that it won't burn. It's taking the flame and the flame is extinguishing. If this were shrink wrap, this would be a serious problem of fire spreading throughout. This is a torch being applied. I cannot tell you how exciting this is. so unbelievable. And this is a thin 8 mil application which is what you would spray with one pass. Alright, that's enough of the bike. Okay, so those of you who are freight forwarders, this is a cardboard box with a simplistic 8 mil spray application of Banzac Cocoon 111. We're going to put a flame to this. Uh, it's non-toxic, remember that, uh, non-flammable, non-contributory, and then after we're done, we're going to show you how easily this removes without any residue. All right, go ahead. This is a cardboard box underneath an 8 mil application of Andec Cocoon 111. And let's step back so they know that nobody's blown it out. You, know what I'm you don't have to get me in it, but I'm just Now we just decided to put a piece of paper burning on top of the box that is surrounded by the 111. And as you can see, the paper is burning. And the 111 product, being that it's non-contributory, is not allowing the flame to spread counter this with shrink wrap you would have a raging fire as what recently happened in China at the Toyota factory or has happened in numerous boatyards around the world how freaking amazing is that you can see our little paper towel has burned itself out and the 111 has just crushed it over and still protects the box Okay, so we went through the whole uh, spraying of the 111, showing the webbing effect on the spokes of the bicycle. And um, then we did our burn testing, both on the bicycle and on the cardboard box. And now I just want to show you how easily the 111 comes off the surface. Uh, in this case, it's a, uh, a steel bicycle frame. So all you need to do is really just open up a gap and just dig in with your fingers and it unpeels. Very simple, and there's absolutely no residue left behind. Now, again, not to harp on this, but this is why this product was developed for the U.S. military. They sprayed all of our aircraft and our tanks and our ships, and when they needed it, they just quite simply unwrapped the material. And more importantly, there's absolutely no residue left behind. Thank you. 
Okay, so now we're just going to uh, remove the 111 from a cardboard box. Um, quite simply, you just cut it. Whoops. I had to pick up on the scene. This is coming off of cardboard. And not only that, but this cardboard box sat in the rain. Here you go. We just removed it off of a cardboard box. All right, now for the exciting stuff. We're going to give Erica the honors of taking off the 111 uh, off the front of her car, uh, since it was her car that I sprayed. You can see it, the material being peeled back. Residue free. Okay, this is the removal from a glass surface, and I'm getting in close. Here you can see that there is no residue left behind. That is amazing. This is coming out of a seam in the doorbell. You can see that the spray went around the corners and is coming out of the molding, protecting the molding. removal along a tape line. 